Okay, so in this shot, I have two lights set up, two Ulanzi eye lights. And uh, obviously, I have this blue one set up in the background. So I'll... I don't even know what I'm at right now. I'm at around 20 millimeters. But I'm going to zoom out and show you guys what the frame's looking like. My roommate might come back here soon, so that could change things. But for now, I have this blue light um, set to 100% luminance, I believe is the proper terminology. I have it aiming towards this way. Uh, I tried to hide that light uh, for obvious reasons. And then right here, I have the same light, but set to, you know, around 38% hue, uh, just to get like that orangey, yellowish contrast. And I magnetically put it on these hinges right here. Thankfully, it's strong enough. And then come into around 20 millimeters or just over. And then I had my phone. I had my phone for face light, uh, you know, showing that I was scrolling um, and just kind of creating like a moody scene, just practicing with these. You know that I'm just practicing and just trying to learn shot composition, uh, nice lighting, um, all kinds of stuff like that. So this is ultimately what I settled on. I liked having the blue behind me. I like this white light on my face uh, with also this warmer light, you know, on my side. And, um, yeah, I thought it was just a good looking shot. And I kind of wanted to talk about the shot while I'm sitting here. I have all the lights off in the room. And, um, yeah, thought it was a really nice little shot. So uh, I, this is the first time, like, I've sat in the same spot with the same lighting and gone over it. But when I'm looking at the shot on the Monitor Plus app. Uh, I have it with the Rec 709 LUT added into it. And I'm at uh, 2.8 on the f-stop. I'm shooting at 48 uh, for the shutter, you know, 24 frames per second. My, uh, I'm shooting in Cine EI mode. I have it at 12,800 with an EI. I'm not too sure. I don't even know what this EI stuff is quite yet. But I'm at 4,000 on that, 3,800 on the white balance. Now, I set that manually because I wanted the, uh, you know, the warmness of this light to shine through, uh, but also still maintain that blue back there. On autofocus continual, I'm shooting on the 16 to 35 G Master 2.8 right now. Um, just you know, not using the anamorphic for a little. It, manual focus is quite exhausting when you're doing it yourself sometimes so i'm glad to have this autofocus camera and yeah i really like how this looks like i said i'm using the monitor plus app this is a wonderful way to see what your footage is looking like especially when you have a manual focus lens really sweet really cool uh great tool to have and also using also using some of this uh this false color now i might be in trouble I might be in trouble with how dark this is. So let me see. I want to have this light in front of me. What this is casting. This is getting me up to 46. So I could probably raise this up a little bit. So. Yeah, let's go up even a little more. This is probably a more ideal, this is probably a more ideal way to shoot this. So let's do that. Let's set this down here. So I had like this.
All right. So exposure wise, I believe that's gonna be a lot better because I believe I was too dark and I'm starting to learn this false color stuff. That's also why I'm doing all this because I would like to become a lot more aware and conscious and uh, more up to speed on you know, properly exposing stuff, especially in the Cine EI mode. I really do like this color space. I really just do like how these images turn out. I know the difference isn't too dramatic, but I'm trying to push myself out of my comfort zone and be um, in areas that are not so um, simple to operate in. And I, you know, I really like how they look. So I'm trying this out, like I said, on different glass this time. You know, I'm really looking in the future. I got some things that I'm trying to contribute to monetarily right now, I'm trying to help some people. Um, but when that's all said and done, when that's out of the way, I'd really like to start saving up to get a 24 to 70 millimeter uh, G Master. Not the G Master 2, but just a regular to uh, get tighter shots and, and more macro and stuff like that. Uh, I'm really looking forward to that. Um, I am operating from, you know, 16 to 35 with this lens and then also with the 50 millimeter uh, Ciroy. Uh, anamorphic so I would like to kind of push a little further past 50 and eventually in the future far down the road uh, maybe get the 100 millimeter anamorphic for those tight shots in an anamorphic sense all right and this shot I am just leaning over the sink uh, I really I didn't even change the height of the camera I really I moved it over here. I dropped it like that, kind of in this general vicinity, and I, you know, was bringing the light over, trying to figure that out. And when I went and leaned like this to look on my iPad, which is actually, which was in here the whole time, <laughs> which was actually in the sink, so I could monitor everything and make sure that the focus was right. I liked the composition. My face in the mirror up there was actually in the rule of thirds just like it is right now. And then once I get this phone light on my face, now, you know, I'm properly in the rule of thirds. I like the layout, just a kind of, you know, really common, relatable shot, still in the same millimeters, still just north of 20, so maybe 21, 22 tops. Uh, and just kind of like the composition of the shot, like the blue light and then this light on the face. Uh, to illuminate illuminate me now i'm making it look like i'm just a freaking phone ipad baby zombie but i'm really just using it as a source of light trying to keep things pretty natural and relatable uh, we find ourselves sometimes on our phones in all kinds of different places just catching up watching something doing whatever so i just like using it also as a source of light in this instance um, i'm in these barracks this place is pretty you know, mundane. So I'm just trying to get creative in here and execute some things that I like and try new stuff and get creative. So with this shot, I am pleased with it as well. I do like the coolness of the blue. I tried to set up another contrasting light, but it wasn't really working out because it was casting shadows in this corner and I didn't really have a place to hide the light as well. Um, up there where the light's at is really the best place to uh, put that, to cast the light that I needed. Uh, and also keep it out of the mirror because the mirror was revealing a lot of the location as well. So pretty pleased with this shot. And yeah, so this is another shot. And if there's another one that I'm doing, we'll get to that as well. But yeah, my roommate, he's out at uh, PT right now. So this has been a nice little time to kind of just practice and focus. And there are times, you know, where you'll make sacrifices, just like spiritually to get alone with God, to go pray or to just get alone and just be with them, period. You know, f you'll have to turn things down, food, this, that, time doing whatever. Uh, for this instance, you know, I'm not eating dinner because then I wouldn't have this time. So it's kind of cool to make some sacrifices here and there for these things and to you know, put the time in and you won't get better unless you practice. And this is exactly what I'm doing. Uh, I, I really enjoy doing this stuff and I have a passion for it. So I'm just trying to keep sharp and, you know, find new creative, expressive angles, compositions, and just tell some cool stories. Okay. Also with that shot, 
I saw a cool opportunity to, let me get this light on me. I think you crouch down actually. So in that shot, I saw a cool opportunity. Oh, we're in manual focus. Let's switch back to auto now. So in that shot, I saw a cool opportunity to uh, keep the focus on the phone. I noticed that that was actually uh, pretty aesthetically pleasing and kind of an interesting shot. So I chose to keep the focus. You know, I, I auto focused on the phone when it was on the counter and then I went to manual focus and I left it there. And I think that, I, you know, I can't really tell. I wasn't looking at the iPad while I was doing that. It wasn't in the sink anymore, as you could probably guess when I was turning the water on. But uh, I want to see how that looks and then kind of explore, uh, you know, that shot as well. Uh, I, I have less confirmation on what that actually looked like. I haven't even looked at the footage yet, but to what I thought it looked like, I think it was a good shot. So we'll check that one out as well and follow the same principles as the shot prior where, um, you know, I was just standing there looking in the mirror or, I mean, looking on my phone in the mirror. So we'll see how that looks as well. I just changed some of the settings on the DJI Mic 2, and I it has a feature where it has recommended camera settings. So I send it to Sony, and I set it to the FX3, and now I'm seeing plus nine uh, decibels. I, I don't, I'm not sure if that's on the transmitter or the receiver, but let's. I'm just kind of talking right now to see how that volume is doing. Uh, I've been using, obviously, the DJI Mic 2 this whole time. And, um, yeah, also exploring that. I heard that, you know, and I've watched comparisons on these and the Rode Wireless Mic 2 or Pro Mic or something like that. I don't really know the name too well. And I've watched comparisons. And, you know, to my surprise, the Rode Mic actually has better low end and it has a, a more full sound. But from what I've seen in post, you can bring that up in the DJI Mic 2s and they sound relatively the same. Um, I don't like the size of the Rode Wireless Mic 2s or Wireless Go's or whatever they're called. I don't like that big square. I think it's an obnoxious kind of shape. Uh, that's why I go with the DJI Mic um, you know, profile or silhouette because I just like the size of it. It's smaller and it just looks better on a t-shirt or wherever you have it. So that's why I went with these, even though I do like the fullness of the Rode mics. But with the new settings now, I just wanted to test how this sounds and uh, get a feel for that in post. So yeah. Okay, so on this shot, I got the iPad, I got the iPad in here uh, with me. I was looking at it while I was shooting. Um, I went for this shot intentionally, or I kept it at least because I know that it's not frame right, my ankle's getting cut off, but I wanted to keep myself kind of low in the shot to you know carry on with this mood of kind of somberness, of kind of sadness, or uh, something going on. So I wanted to keep myself low in the shot um, to see how that would look, but now I'm going to try a different angle and see how that looks. So let's, let's do that live on camera. I'm going to see how that looks uh, while the camera rolls. Oh, I already think I'm going to like this even a little more. Man, how do I get this camera to focus on me? Oh, there we go. That's nice. I like that. Okay, I think I like this more. So let's go with this shot for a sec. Use the left hand to kind of, because if I use my right hand, it, the, the silhouette's not as powerful. If I use my left, it's a lot more powerful. So let's, let's stick this out for a sec.
Kind of wanted to see how that looked. I wanted to see how that looked with the two arms, or like two something like that. I think it went well, but I, the posture of this, the, the color that I'm wearing too, that's not really intentional, but it adds to the silhouette nice. Uh, let me bring that back a little closer. But the silhouette, the dark color of my shirt, the dark gray of these shorts, um, contrasts well with obviously the backlight of the blue and this the blue off of my skin color also helps be like a, a neutral like a middle ground mid-tone in between those so I really am liking how that's looking I'm liking the center composition I'm liking you know the darkness of the frame over there around the corner and the darkness of the frame behind the door and um, I think I would even Maybe, maybe I did or maybe I will add something to block that, uh, you know, orangish, yellowish light out in the hallway and block that out to really concrete this uh, composition, this frame a little bit better. Let me have this focus on me because I think it's not, I think it's having a hard time focusing uh, just because of the lack of light on me. But yeah, I really like how this frame looks and I'll see how it looks in post but from what I'm looking at this looks pretty dang sweet uh, I'm gonna bring another light in here and see what it looks like with a warm light having two lights and see how well that works so let's try that out let me put this on my t-shirt as well okay so that way you guys can hear me while I'm walking around uh, where's that other light I believe it's right here so I'm gonna keep this on a stand um, I've used this in other videos, but they might not be posted at the moment. Uh, this is the Insta360 pole that comes with the that comes with the Insta360 uh, X3, and then I also got the free tripod with my order uh, for joining their newsletter. So that's pretty cool, and it's really coming in handy because I can extend the tripod. And then that's without, I haven't even extended the actual invisible stick yet, invisible selfie stick. So it's really a great combo and I'm glad to have it because it acts as like a little light stand. So it worked out really well. So praise God for that. Um, I did not plan that, but that wor that's worked out really, really neatly. Oh, this is going to be nice if I can figure this out. Like I said, I'm a total amateur. But God's given me a passion to do this stuff, so. Um, we'll, we'll figure this out together. Let's turn this down even more. So that light is bouncing off of this door onto this right here. Um, you know, what's this camera focusing on? Let's go. Hello. Welcome to today. So like I said, this light's bouncing off of this uh, door and bouncing onto here. So you're getting a little bit of spill in that regard. I have the light actually facing away from me. Uh, it's a little too intense like that. But, I don't know. I mean, I don't even really need this light in here, but I wanted to see what it looked like. But even just to, even just as like a shot to talk in. I kind of like this though. You know, I don't normally do this. I usually set up a little more like professionally in the sense of like interview-esque or center camera, like maybe you see in some of my older videos where I'm talking to the camera. But I kind of like this in the sense of like quirky composition and yeah, it's just a practice, practice composition, but it ends up working out really nice for dialogue like we're doing right now. So I really am enjoying how this looks. One thing I'm not seeing on this Monitor Pro is the audio levels. Well, let's check the false colors. Okay, I'm somewhere in the pink. Ooh. Let's keep that over there. I'm somewhere in the pink right now at 62. Man, I should be screen recording this.
Okay. So now I just started a screen recording. That'll probably help you guys see a little bit of what I'm seeing because I'm in here and you guys can't see me, obviously, uh, like you could in other frames where I'm right there. But I'm sitting in the pink, so that's just 62, at least, you know, where I want to be highlighted. Um, that's just short of, you know, the, 60, the 69, 77 range. So that's not bad. I don't think, I'm learning all this stuff, right? So if whoever's watching this, this is like, you're watching this as it's happening. I'm learning a lot uh, about what I'm doing. We're obviously sitting at 12,800. White balance is at 4,000. Okay, so. Hmm. So our ISO is at 12,800. Now that's one of the two base ISOs on this camera. That's for anybody that knows this stuff, that's common sense. I don't know who's watching, so that's why I'm kind of elaborating in a sense. But my exposure index, EI, is at 12,800 as well. At six, is that six stops? That's not six stops because there's multiple. But yeah, so I'm not too sure, you know, number wise, what's going on. I'm still figuring this stuff out. But just looking at the image as it is, it looks great. We're getting obviously some chop right now. This thing's lagging. But for the most part, this is looking really good. Now, without the light, I do like the blueness of this, and this is intentional. So, yeah, we'll see how this looks in post. I think it should look somewhat similar to what I'm seeing here, but as I've come to find out, things don't always appear as they seem in post, and I'm still learning. So, But I really like this shot. I think it's a really powerful shot. I like the blue. I like the black. I like the contrast. I like the value um, range that I'm kind of seeing in here. And yeah, I think this is going to be the last shot, so I'll jump back onto the computer and check this stuff out. But thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. I really enjoy doing this stuff, and I'm glad that there's a platform to be able to kind of share this, you know, experimental learning uh, phase and be able to share that with you guys as maybe you're doing the same, and we can kind of learn together as we go. Uh, but if there's anybody with any advice that knows this better than I do, that understands this equipment better than I do, please share with me in the comments what I could do better. Maybe help me understand things that you've seen me question or not understand in this video. And yeah, having a blast. Absolutely love this gear. Love using this stuff. This app was groundbreaking. I don't even know where I saw it from or where I saw somebody using it and found it, but this is great to have because I don't have a wireless external monitor. I do have the Atomos Ninja 5, but I don't know how to do wireless transmitting and stuff like that. And that's a lot of batteries and all that stuff. So this helps a lot. I have this on a 5 gigahertz. I have my camera on 5 gigahertz for the Wi-Fi. And that seems to have made these connections a lot better and a lot smoother. So I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. And um, yeah, praise God. I'll see you guys soon, God willing, maybe with more videos on this stuff. And I really, uh, really appreciate you spending your time here. So thank you for watching and have a good rest of your day and or night. And I'll see you guys soon. God willing. Peace out, everybody.